Hello friends, this is Odds, and yesterday, live on stream, I was watching footage sent to me by one of my viewers. Sometimes I analyze the gameplay from my viewers that they send me to give them some tips on how to improve and so on. And this was a pinhead that, with only 450 hours in the game, which is not a lot in DVD, was already playing really, really well. They were honestly fairly impressive. But then at one point, something a little bit odd happened. Uh, this killer that had been playing really, really well made a very strange mistake. They they failed to track a survivor that basically slipped under their nose. Uh, let me show you how it happened and my reaction to it. I, again, I don't think it. I don't think you needed to. You could have just chased it normally. But hey, uh, fancy, fancy tricks, cool stuff. Uh, chat, you saw what happened there, right? I, I, you can hear him. It's super subtle, but you can hear him. He goes. Oh. Uh, if he doesn't have balanced landing, when he drops, he should make a uh, or similar sound. He did do it. It's very subtle because our volume is a bit loud, a little, a little bit quiet, but he did do it. So that should have been your cue that he dropped. Unfortunately. Oh, you can, dude, you can hear us super clear, actually. Let's watch it again. Now. Yeah. You got a bit confused there. It's okay. It happens. So after this little mishap, the killer went on to win the game and play very, very well. Good job. And it was at that moment, after we watched the whole game, that I read the description, and I learned this. I am aware that I would have lost without Gen Stalin regression build. That's not true. You could have won this with whatever. I am nearly deaf on my left ear, so I cannot hear everything you would hear, which makes me lose track of survivors sometimes. Chad, that's why he didn't hear the bell. The bell dropped down and went, Ugh! But that came out of only the left uh, headset earphone thingy. That's why he didn't hear it. Bro, man. This was a huge revelation, but also a great reminder that what you and I see and experience in the game is not necessarily what other people experience, especially if they are colorblind or hard of hearing. Even though there are some accessibility issues to try to make things better, I know that for colorblind and hard of hearing players, the game is still very, very difficult to play. To name a few things, seeing auras in some maps is very, very difficult because there's not a setting to make auras a different color. Some killers and powers have audio cues that are completely impossible to detect if you don't hear them. And yeah, these are areas where the game could do better. Uh, to try to <laughs> challenge myself and put myself in their shoes, I decided to play one game where I would play in black and white and with completely muted audio to remind myself of how easily it is to take for granted those things that us uh, have access to. I didn't play 20 games or anything, I just played one match and you're about to see how that went. All right, so first off, just so you know, the audio is at zero. My screen, as you can see there, is absolutely lacking color. I thought I would show you this now because this is the kind of challenge that would be very easy for me to fake. If I wanted to, I guess I could edit the gameplay and make it look like I have no audio and no colors and... You know, it could, it could be done in editing, that's what I'm trying to say, so... Obviously, we need to make sure that that's not uh, a possible accusation. This should be a hit here. Very nice. And what I found doing this in the past, this isn't the first time I play without audio, is that, well, first of all, the game is definitely a lot harder, 100%, there's no question about it. I'm playing on the far map as well, I sent myself here, because I think this is one of the worst maps when it comes to, very nice from her, uh, when it comes to, like, distinguishing auras. Oh, <laughs> bathroom break. And yeah, I can already tell, like, obviously now I'm indoors, everything's dark, and I see the autos very well, but the moment I step outside, like, I don't even see that totem anymore. Hell, where are even the hooks? Oh my god, actually. Oh my god, I'm so glad that that one stands out. That is, I don't see the hooks, man. Yeah, I barely see one there in that jungle gym. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I sent myself to this map because I know it's really, really difficult. But yeah, um, much like almost anything else in the game, when you have a lot of experience, you don't always use your senses a lot. Did they do my ruin already? Oh, they sure did. I didn't hear that. Yeah, you don't use your senses a lot because you have so much experience. You hit a survivor and you always expect them. Here's another survivor. You always expect them to go a certain way. So you don't even need to hear them, you know? Here, I can use footsteps to track, obviously. Very nice fast vault. Uh, they got the rescue. Hide my red stain. There should be an M1. Nice, good job. So I can kind of predict some of this because obviously play players at decently high levels are somewhat predictable. Somewhat, not 100%, but somewhat predictable. 
But when you're learning, if you don't have a lot of experience already, I, I feel like this is super, super brutal. Because, you know, players are less predictable, you don't have a solid foundation of what to guess, and you don't also have a... Let's call it... That was so good of them. I got him. You don't have a, a, a great... Um, what's the word? Uh, game sense to, to, to build on, right? So yeah, I, I know I could have downed that guy 100% on the pallet, but I didn't want to actually. If I down him on the pallet, I'm pretty sure that there are people around here and they could have gotten the pallet safe. It's going to be even harder for me to predict it, so... Yeah, that, that, that's why I went for uh, for an M2 there. Alright, so we know there's another uh, survivor over here. Oh, they popped this in as well. Nice job. How many hooks they just do we have? They use for the people. That's an archive on Torino. I see that. That was... Oh, that was a good shot. No way, man. No. Nice. Oh, well played. Yeah, it is, it's a bit hard to see in the corner for sure. We do have a nice monitor and all, yo. Mm -hmm. oh, that's pretty good. Uh, stop holding it. I do have an add-on that makes me hold my hatchets a little bit uh, faster. Like, I can walk while I hold them a bit nicer. So, that's nice. That's discordance. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, luckily, people that don't hear very well in DVD have access to some external software. I mean, at least if they're on PC. That can turn audio waves into, like, physical feedback. Um, I do know of at least one streamer that has this thing where... I guess she feels like some kind of, like, bump. Or something. When there's like a noise, and that's kind of nice. That's honestly really nice. I'm very happy that accessibility things like like that work. The game itself, though, could definitely use some more changes. Oh wow, you have that heart. Could definitely use some more changes. That unfortunately is a jungle gym, so I can't really snipe it. I'm not even gonna reload. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Maybe we can have them in there. Uh, hook wise, I really don't see. We're at four hooks right now. I think we've hooked everybody once. I'm nearly certain. Yeah, that makes sense that they're doing Jun so well. We do have no way out, though, which is pretty good. I think he goes into a locker. Very nice. You know what? Unfortunately, if I do this, it's going to be a completely blind guess, because I'm not going to be able to hear him and guess whether or not I'm right. Yeah, that was lucky. No discordances. I can use my high ground there to shoot over it. Little mind game here. I don't hear him, but I'm... As I said, you just kind of guess. Nice. Was that discordance briefly, or not? Very good. Can't tell. Uh, unhook happened. Uh, that might have been a missed skill check on that gem, but it's high. really hard to tell, man. Really hard to tell. Whispers might have been useful in situations where these people are taking it a little bit easier, but that's really not what's happening right now. Oh, is that gen? Whispers? Is that gen discorded? I can't tell. Oh. Oh, that was a good attempt. That girl's... Um... Yeah, so that Dwight is dead on hook. Dwight number one, the one on top. This skill is injured. And if I down her, she'll be dead on hook. If I'm gonna play mean, I should go for that Dwight, but Jesus. All right, I really have not tracked by by things on the ground at all. It's been very difficult. Yeah, it's uh, uh, Whispers is on. I know someone's near, but... Oh, there you go. That th That's Whispers, by the way. I, I had zero reason to believe that anyone was here. Like, I would have never... Like, sure, I saw Zarina or whatever, but yeah. Uh, also, uh, in my in my screen, it's completely black and white. For you guys, I have a bit of a brown filter, like a brown coloring. But it's pretty much the same way I see it. So maybe maybe for you guys, it's like slightly brighter. Nah, it's very similar. Can I can I snipe that real quick? Oh, hey yo, that's not very smart. Uh, which which dot is this? This is the one we don't want, is it? Yeah, that jumps super advanced, dude. That ruin. What did it even last? Is this the dot we want? Did they just finish all the gens? Was that adrenaline? Oh my god, that's actually brutal as hell. Oh my gosh. I mean, we do have an add-on here that's pretty nice, but... Oh, so good of them. That was a miss, unfortunately. I'm gonna try a mind game, but I don't think it's gonna work. It worked. Nice. Yeah, these guys didn't hook. Oh, that was a good play by me. But he just did not fall for it. Okay. Uh, no way out triggered. It's now 15 seconds in or so. Very good, very good, very good. We can definitely kill him. I just don't know how we're going to find the next guy afterwards. We also probably want to reload because we only have one hatchet. Luckily, we're in the right place to do that. Okay, he's dead. That's good. 
yeah, man. Like, when that ruin got done, where it got done, like, I mean, to be fair, it wasn't a pretty bad spot. That totem was pretty awful. Oh, we found someone. Is she gonna hook? Is this the Zarina? Let's go. I uh, should behind her, and that worked. And she's in a bad spot here. She does have a pallet. Does he throw it? Damn, this add-on is actually pretty good. I'm gonna fake that. I'm gonna guess she took a right. Oh, she's right here. That's good. Uh, no way out, still up. She's dead. We can, might be able to get three kills here. Though, this is really difficult. Uh, by the way, I just realized it's so odd to watch this game with no audio whatsoever. Uh, maybe I should have kept the audio on for you guys? Or nah, nah, you need to be part of this. What, what I can do is I can edit some, like, soothing, like, water sound or something afterwards. Uh, unfortunately, I don't really see this. Whispers is on. Yeah, so someone's here. Thank you, Whispers. What an amazing perk. It's just a shame that you might actually need it if you can hear good. Uh, ooh, that was a miss. Oh, wait. That, that's Primbers, right? I mean, life or something. She could put me to the other gate if I'm not careful. Uh, item disappeared, so that's how we know that she is uh, out of the community present space bar. And I don't think you make that. Unlucky. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold that. I am the bit to the left so that I can catch him. Oh, he opened that gate. Well done. Well done. I mean, well deserved, right? If I hit him with a hatchet, he probably would have been able to... Uh, make it anyway, so it's not a big deal. Oh, 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 this hook's gone, actually. Oh, I need to find another hook. You see that? That aura right there? It is a bit more visible for you guys, I feel. Yeah, I'm looking at my streaming program. Yeah, yeah, I I, I can barely see it, man. <laughs> That's so odd. He hasn't left. Uh, I mean, Whispers picks up the person from the... Um, from the base, uh, from the hook as well, so... <laughs> okay, just please don't hook. I want to reload. Yeah, yeah, what I see is very similar. Um, I'm sorry, I, 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 I'll, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna camp this final kill. Whoa, dude. Right. <laughs> so, so this was a game where, honestly, things could have been way, way harder. The survivors, you know, they played well, but they played in the predictable manner. And I have, like, thousands and thousands. Oh, thank you thousands of hours of experience to like fall back on right dude i cannot imagine how awful it would be if these survivors like mix like mix things up a little bit and i didn't have that level of experience it would be so tough man uh, just something to reflect on the game that you play is not the same game that someone with color blindness or with hard of hearing issues has uh, it's a completely different game for them, and we should never stop caring about them and advocating for the game to be more accessible. Things like being able to change the specific color of auras, uh, even visual tells about certain sound cues that are currently only sound, right? Uh, all of those things uh, would be very welcome. We've made some nice uh, accessibility... We even have a whole accessibility tab. We've made some nice accessibility changes over the years, but we definitely need more. We, uh, what do you think of this? Are you going to try it yourself? Are you hard of hearing yourself? Please let me know about it. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next one tomorrow. DVD anniversary. It's going to be an interesting one. We'll be streaming it live on Twitch if you want to come and do the watch party together with us. Bye-bye. See you then.